We need to settle down, you know? <laughs> Just take this step and have fun. This is a big step, Kamel. Of course it's a big step, yeah, but you wanted to do it. Let's do it. Yeah, you're right. No, I know what I'm doing. Tell me, what do you think? You don't have to do it, but, you know, I need your word. If you do it, I, I'm taking your couch. I'm coming over, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you have to tell me for advice. That uh, if I go through with it, you're on the couch? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. All right, it's yours. All right, guys, I have to go. Reception, I'll be late. Okay. I'll see you later. See ya. Okay. Yeah, of course. We dance together. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I think it's gonna be fine. Of course it's gonna be fine. I will tell you a story about my best friend Adel, which reminds me a bit like a Turkish soap opera we used to watch. I have the immigration lawyer papers for Younger's petition to file for your status in Canada. After you two are married, the paperwork will be submitted. I'm doing this as requested by your father. However, I expect you to honor your wife, Yonka, my granddaughter. If I have any reason to doubt this, I would just cancel the application. I will honor my father's request. But, just so you know, I have no desires of having my papers in Canada be the result of this marriage. I will try to be a good husband. After you two are married, you'll move into Yonko's apartment, which I bought for her many years ago. The paper is in her name, but now you will also contribute to the mortgage. But if I'm going to pay the mortgage, should not the papers of the house also be in my name? <laughs> Consider it rent. If you want the paper in your name, Give to me the $100,000 deposit. Return to Yonka all the mortgage payments she has made. Go to real estate office, get property valuation, go to bank, ask for mortgage for this amount. I see. Then I retract my previous statement. Enough talk. Continue with signing. You know, you're not permitted to play cards. It is forbidden. I'm going to tell my grandfather. Come on, Camel, show me your hand. Oh yeah, let me play. I thought you said it was forbidden to play cards. Well, if you let me play, I won't tell grandfather. Well, this game's not really for girls. Let me play or else. Or else what? I don't think you want to know. <laughs> what a donkey, Camel. Let's go find somewhere else to play. Anne! 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 Grandpa! Anne! What on earth is all this noise? <gasps> Granddaughter, what happened to you? <laughs> Yonka, what happened? A darling camel beat me up and pushed me into the dirt when I told them it was forbidden to play cards. Shame on you, beating up on a girl and your cousin and gambling in my house. You dirty, good-for-nothing little boy. You good-for-nothing little boy, huh? You should be ashamed of yourself. You clean the chicken coop, mop the floors for one month. And you, camel, you go home. And don't come back here until your parents apologize. They fall in! Get out! I feel like crying, yes. I feel like crying, yes. Like soaking up my pillow with my tears I feel like falling, yes I feel like falling off the roof I feel like I don't want to feel this way again But I know eventually 
eventually this pain will go away and i know that he will take my hand and help me find my way it's only